My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Fan Number Two. This is the only video I'm gonna make tonight because my whole week has been planned ahead of time before me by other people, and now I'm pretty much stuck with it. So here we go. Um, watched a lot of fights today, and um, you know, a lot of people have no form, and if you're gonna fight and you know that everyone and their mama's gonna record it, you should probably actually get out and practice a little bit first. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to say, you know. With the videos that I've watched today, but especially with the fighting and my own little compilation of videos of my nephew whooping my ass. Uh, for all you young bucks who haven't really been in a fight, one, your hair is going to get pulled. So if you don't want that, cut the shit off. If you can deal with that, do that. In a fight, old school, if someone had you down, that was pretty much your ass. So either you kept fighting or you got your ass kicked. So for you young people, please, if you're going to record people fighting, please, 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 stop breaking up the fight and letting them get round two. Stop hollering, let go of my hair. Stop hollering, I'm out of breath. If you're going to fight, the, the best damn thing you could do is be in shape. If you see my videos earlier today, I couldn't do but two pull-ups. So that should tell you, I'm not in shape. That does not mean I can't fight. It just means I need to end that fight as quick as fucking possible. Now, I can, I can knock the hell out of some push-ups. I didn't think I could still do them. So clearly, I'm not in as good shape as I should be. Um, probably one too many of these little Dorito thingies that might have been um, contributing to my um, out-of-shapeness. But, you know, the best thing I can tell you if you're going to be in a fight is to, one, not record yourself beating the fuck out of someone, and two, learn how to fight old school so you don't have to worry about losing I mean, you take a loss, you just gonna have to take a loss. Because, you know, it's a fight. There's not always going to be one that you can win. And if you ask me, I don't have to beat you to kill you or hurt you really badly. And I've always been like that since I started learning martial arts. I learned it for a reason. So that I couldn't get my ass beat in the streets. And my boxer? Fuck no. You give me a boxing ring, you probably whoop my ass. I got a little bit of boxing skills. But it's probably about that much. But, you know, a uh, scared man can do anything. That, you know, like I told my nephew the other day, we was talking about fighting, and he's like, I ain't scared of you. I said, I don't want you scared of me. He's like, why is that? I said, because a scared man can accomplish great things, uh, dangerously great things. And he's like, how you figure? I said, because every fight I've ever been in, the reason why I've never lost, here's my secret. I've always been scared. I've always had just enough fright in me to know that two things going to happen. Either I'm going to hurt him or he's going to hurt me. I'm not about being hurt. So therefore, in closing, if you want to fight, you probably want to take some fighting lessons. I'm sure there's boxers who can teach you how to box. I'm sure there's martial artists who can teach you how to do martial arts. And my best thing to tell you is take both and then combine them. And if you can take gymnastics, that would help. But I will give you a piece of advice. No one's going to let you backflip in a fight. All right. And if they do, you caught them sleeping. Kangaroo kicks is dangerous. If you're fast enough to peel that shit off. Good luck with that though. I'm James Wimps Jr. This is Comfort Number 2. Be seeing you.